Just because I don't need you all the time doesn't mean that I don't need you at all, Cat Noir. No one could ever replace you. Miraculous Ladybug's main story wouldn't be possible without the Miracle Box and the Miraculous it contains. The Kwamis and their magical jewelry are responsible for the heroes of Paris and the villains that threaten it. Marinette takes on a monumental task when she becomes the new guardian of the Miracle Box, as she's responsible for not only the Kwamis but also for their safety. Unfortunately, Marinette can't be the guardian forever, and if she were to relinquish her role, she would require ready candidates to take her place. In this video, we're assessing potential candidates and why they could make suitable replacements. All those supervillains with weird names? Like Dr. What's-His-Name and Miss Your Rat? Miss Your Rat? What kind of code name is that? Number 5. Adrian Agrest As the partner of Ladybug, Adrian's role as Cat Noir makes him an obvious choice. Adrian has been by Marinette's side since the beginning of the series as a heroic partner, friend, and lover. He has witnessed her highs and lows as the guardian of the miraculous, which means he knows how much responsibility the role would place on him. In the episode Strike Back, after Monarch reveals that he has possession of the miraculous, Adrian doesn't condemn Ladybug for losing them. Instead, he consoles her during a moment of weakness and reassures her that they will reclaim what they lost. His words aren't made with blind optimism either, as he worked alongside Ladybug long enough to have complete faith in their capabilities. Cat Noir is a reliable partner to Ladybug for a myriad of reasons. He carries himself with confidence and humor, two traits she can lack on the field. He puts a lot of effort into being her counterpart, his role as her partner being seamless. In another episode, Kuro Neko, Adrian sheds his usual carefree demeanor to adopt a more serious mentality. He abandons Cat Noir to become a hero he believes Ladybug will appreciate, which leads to the creation of the reserved and resourceful Catwalker. As Catwalker, Adrian takes care in assessing the situation, carefully follows the rules of being a miraculous wielder, and only acts after ample consideration. In the end, Ladybug realizes she works best with Cat Noir, but the episode reveals plenty about Adrian's character. Most notably, despite his carefree and playful disposition that he is known for, Adrian is capable of handling a situation with caution when it counts. If Adrian was given the Miracle Box, there is little doubt that he would conduct his role as Guardian as seriously as Marinette, if not more. Say the magic words, Dusu, spread my feathers. Dusu, spread my feathers! Number 4. Alex Kubdel Ladybug and Cat Noir maintain their miraculous for the safety of Paris, but Alex Kubdel is given a much more extensive role in the overall narrative. In the episode Time Tagger, the series introduces the time-traveling hero Bunnix. She is revealed throughout the story to be an adult version of Alex Kubdel, who ended up in the past in pursuit of the titular villain. As she helps Ladybug and Cat Noir pursue Time Tagger, Alex reveals that she has extensive knowledge of their future. She tells them about future villains, their team, and their relationship. More importantly, she knew the identity of Hawk Moth. Alex keeps a lot of important information close to her chest. Although she has the power to change the past and impact the future, she has the forethought to protect the timeline. Her dedication to her duties as Bunnix is shown throughout the series. In Cat Blanc, Bunnix appears to Marinette asking her to help rectify an alternate timeline. In doing so, she inadvertently saves all of Paris and Ladybug herself from destruction. Alex continues this helpful streak in the episode Evolution, but at a tremendous personal cost. After confronting Monarch, Ladybug gives the Rabbit Miraculous to the younger Alex. To prevent the villain from stealing the Rabbit Miraculous again, Alex has to travel through time until his defeat. Her selfish act takes her away from her friends, family, and home for an indiscernible amount of time. The role that Bunnix takes in the French superhero team proves that Alex is capable of responsibility. Additionally, the former guardian Wang Fu spent his life in hiding to protect the Miracle Box, but what would be a better place to hide such a significant item than within the flow of time? Bye, Bunnix! <laughs> Wait a second, this is not the exact right moment. Number 3. Zoe Lee Many of the series' recurring characters made their first appearances by Season 3. Zoe Lee, in contrast, got a late start when she was introduced in the episode Soul Crusher. As a member of the bourgeois family, she felt pressured to adhere to their cruel ways. It isn't until she meets Marinette does she learn to be true to herself, and an immediate change can be seen within her. 
Zoe quickly becomes one of the most considerate characters in the series, who goes out of her way to help those around her. These characteristics allow her to become the next wielder of the Bee Miraculous, Vesperia. In the episode Transmission, Plague renounces Adrian as his holder and must find a new one. Fortunately, he witnesses Zoe advocate for an absent Marinette and Adrian. Her aptitude for looking out for others, even in their absence, influences him to choose her as the next cat-themed superhero. With the Cat Miraculous, Zoe becomes the hero Kitty Noir. She teams up with Scarabella and the pair make an effortless display of defeating an akumatized villain. Zoe's reliable personality and acting skills made it easy for her to adapt to the new role. Although Zoe wasn't destined to keep the Cat Miraculous, she continues to exhibit traits that make her an irreplaceable ally to Ladybug. In the episode Adoration, Zoe keeps her feelings about Marinette a secret, unlike Marinette and Adrian, whose actions are often influenced by their romantic interest. Zoe keeps a clear head throughout the episode. She also puts herself in a difficult position to protect Marinette's integrity. After Chloe had set up Marinette to seem like a thief, Zoe claims that she stole the items solely to help her friend. She doesn't think twice about her actions or regret them. Zoe's adaptability, willingness to defend others, and firm definition of right and wrong would make her a fantastic guardian for the Miracle Box. So, you wanna? Uh -uh -uh. If you want to be a winner and be part of this family, you're going to have to earn your place. Number 2. Luca Kufain Marinette gives everything to her role as Ladybug. She sacrifices her happiness, harms her friendships, and puts herself under severe stress. She goes through a lot to protect Paris, but throughout it all, she has a calming presence to help her persevere. Luca Kufain Luca is introduced as the rock of the show's characters. He's collected, non-judgmental, and considerate to everyone he meets. His agreeable personality and how he approaches challenging situations make him the perfect fit for the Snake Miraculous in the episode Desperada. As Viperion, Luca proves to be a capable hero and learns to manage one of the more mentally exhausting powers in the Miracle Box. With his super ability Second Chance, Luca is called upon by the heroes when they need help defeating complicated enemies. A fantastic example is the episode Wishmaker, where the titular villain reveals Ladybug and Cat Noir's secret identities to Shadow Moth. Luckily, Viperion was present to reverse time and protect their identities, but as a result, he carried the knowledge himself. Luca knowing about Marinette and Adrian's double life as heroes was a point of contention for some time. He never says or does anything regarding this vital information. Season 5 brings this story arc to a close in the episode Migration, when Luca's overprotectiveness nearly leads to a third akumatization. Luca exhibits immense willpower by rejecting the Akuma and even smashes his guitar to prevent it from attacking him again. Later in the episode, he leaves Paris, his friends, and his family to protect Ladybug and Cat Noir. Much like Alex, Luca is willing to self-sacrifice for the greater good. His choices to protect the heroes in combination with his calm personality could make him an adept guardian. You're so talented, Luca. How long have you been playing for? Since I was in diapers. Number 1. Alia Césaire If Marinette were to choose the next Guardian, it's clear that she has already has someone in mind. She already has someone she depends on more than anyone else in the series, her best friend Alia Césaire. Alia is an incredibly driven and outspoken character. Like Luca, she cares about the truth but actively searches the world to find it. Alia is introduced as a die-hard Ladybug fan, but her interest in the miraculous goes beyond mere admiration. In the episode Feast, Alia takes Marinette to the Louvre to show her a discovery she'd made about superheroes. Unlike other characters in the series, such as Gabriel, Alia is dedicated to discovering more about the miraculous out of mere curiosity and not malicious intent. Marinette goes to great lengths to keep the world of the miraculous a secret. She finally decides to tell Alia the truth after the episode Gang of Secrets, when Alia rejects an Akuma and rejoins the heroes. After Alia proves herself to Marinette, she takes on more responsibility. The episode Optigami showcases this shift in her character. Marinette entrusts her to communicate with the Kwame, retrieve Miraculous from the Miracle Box, and help defeat the villain, Style Queen. After they successfully defeat Style Queen, Marinette decides to tell Alia everything she knows in case Ladybug is indisposed in the future. Alia is also a very adept hero. As Rena Rouge, she single-handedly outsmarts Shadow Moth in the episode Centibubbler. Her actions save her family, Marinette, and the Fox Miraculous from the villain. Moreover, she is given the Ladybug Miraculous by Marinette and Tiki. The handoff first occurs in the episode Haksan, 
when Marinette must leave Paris to visit family. Tiki follows Marinette's example and later chooses Alia to succeed Marinette as the Ladybug Miraculous Wielder. Alia readily takes on the responsibility and prepares to become the hero Scarabella full-time. Therefore, Alia has all the knowledge as the current guardian and is also the secondary wielder of the Ladybug Miraculous. If anyone is shaping up to be the next guardian, it would be her. Uh, I know, except this research has nothing to do with her identity. I'm gonna help Ladybug unmask Hawk Moth. There are many trustworthy heroes in Miraculous Ladybug. Each of them gives their all to protect Paris from Gabriel Agreste and his camaraderie of akumatized villains. They are great at what they do, but not all are meant to be the Miracle Box's next guardian. Adrian, Alex, Zoe, Luca, and Alia are just a few candidates, but their morals, integrity, and inner strengths make them stand out. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads. Master Fu was much nicer. And his Murat Kung Fu was much worse. <laughs> <laughs>